Once again, I find myself in the position of explaining things which shouldn't really need any explanation whatsoever. But I feel compelled to do so due to the fact that people with no knowledge or insight into such matters spew out second and third hand information with the bloody minded conviction of brainwashed religious zealots. So excuse me while I set the record straight, while I bring home a little myth busting. If I don't say something, no one else will. Here goes. Pouring a beer into a glass that has been in the freezer will not significantly reduce the temperature of the beer because the beer itself is already at a very low temperature and it can't get much colder without much more agitation than simply being transferred from a bottle or a keg into a chilled drinking vessel. I know, it's science. Don't be scared. Where did that science come from? Just embrace it. It won't hurt you. I promise. You see, it's purely psychosomatic. You know, the frosty looking glass being pulled from a chilled drinking cabinet and a beer being poured into it. The image itself is quite thirst quenching, which is precisely why for a long time now, beer companies have been making glasses that look frosty. They're trying to make the beer look cold. Like a glass that is designed to look frosty is gonna fool anyone. It's absurd, I know, but there are consumers out there who are falling for it. You see, beer that's served in a frosted glass is going to lose its carbonation very quickly. And also, the frosted glass is going to negatively affect the taste of the beer. Because, assuming that the glass in question has been washed in a glass washer in a bar and then placed directly in a fridge or freezer afterwards, what's going to happen is that the rinse aid, which would otherwise evaporate, is going to cling to the inside of the glass. It's going to be frozen right there for you to sample later on. The chemicals stay right there. And because of this chemical residue that clings to the inside of the glass, that means the carbonation won't cling there like it ordinarily would to a dry room temperature glass so the beer is gonna taste a little flat. Obviously, these are subtleties and smaller details that I'm talking about. And for the majority of you out there, this won't make the slightest bit of difference because you're content just to shuffle along being told that the earth is flat and the planet's only 20,000 years old and fossils were put in the ground as some hilarious jape by God. Good one. But I thought I'd just give you the heads up anyway, you know? It's up to you what you do with this information. Fossils. God, crazy prankster, gets me every time.